As we know, when we have point A and point B and we're looking to animate a movement, we can't just cut. Visually, we're looking for additional frames in between, so the motion is smoothed out. In modern animation, many artists use something called technology to create frames in between point A and point B. That process, creating those in-between frames, of course, that's interpolation. We're interpolating the frames in between these two points. So on the animation timeline here, we're only setting the starting point and the ending point. We start here and we end there. If we add another point in between, of course, in an animation, we can call these keyframes or actions, but we can click right in the timeline and add as many points as we want. And everything in between is interpolated for us. That's interpolation. What about easing? Here's a car, and we'll animate it using linear motion. Linear motion takes a direct path from point A to point B. With easing, we're taking, in this case, distance or movement and time, and changing what would be graphed as linear and making it something else. Here's that same animation with easing applied. And there are a ton of easing options. They can apply to movement, opacity, background color, rotation, anything. And you can affect that easing right here in the interactions panel. That's easing. Finally, let's cover damping or smoothing. This is really helpful for animations that occur on a scroll or on a changing mouse position. Here, we're trying to create a parallax depth effect as we scroll. And on a trackpad, which is what we're looking at now, things look great. But what about moving abruptly, quick changes? Or what if we're using a scroll wheel that jumps quickly? The animation isn't necessarily obvious, it's clunky, and that's because the position change and the animation is occurring at exactly the same time. Enter damping. We do this by adding a bit of smoothing to the trigger. So now if we scroll, even if it's abrupt, we're smoothing out the animation as it approaches the actual scroll position. It catches up. And we can see it functions as a hysteresis, kind of a lag, which is taking into account our previous scroll positions and smoothing everything out. A higher smoothing number, the more we increase this, that increases the damping effect. Lower smoothing numbers, or even 0% smoothing, everything is animating, it's reacting in real time. Now, this doesn't override any easing settings we've created inside our animation. It only softens and smooths out the approaching velocity towards the correct position in the timeline. So, we have interpolation, which is how with any two points, we automatically fill in the in-between values to create an animation. We have easing, which is how we can control the distribution of those values if we want something non-linear. And we have smoothing, how smoothly animations catch up with triggers like scroll position or mouse position. 